Today, we will briefly cover external fixation and how to answer the infamous medical student pimping question of what are the eight things that make external fixation stronger. To start, external fixation can have various designs and can be utilized throughout the body for either temporary or definitive treatment of an orthopedic injury. I won't go over the different types of constructs in this video because I want this to just go over the basic principles of external fixation that you are likely to be asked about. Now in terms of what makes your external fixation application stronger, there are eight major components that they will want you to know. This is a pretty classic medical student question, so let's make sure you are all prepared. The way I was taught was to think more bars, more pins, more planes, bigger bars, bigger pins, bars closer to the skin, good reduction, and near, near, far, far. The first three of more bars, more pins, and more planes is pretty self-explanatory. Having more of the bars and pins will make for a stronger X-fix, and the planes refers to altering the angles of those bars to provide different planes of stability. You do, though, want to make sure that you are staying out of the zone of definitive fixation if you can. The next two of bigger bars and pins is also another obvious point in that having a larger diameter of bar and pin will naturally make for a stiffer construct. It has been reported, for instance, that increases in pin diameter can strengthen the fixation construct to the fourth power, but it is also important to keep in mind that there is a balance as increasing the diameter of your pins can also lead to an increased stress riser. Then the idea of bars closer to the skin will make for a stronger construct is that if you think about the distance from the bone as the lever arm, then it makes sense. You can imagine if you are trying to tighten a bolt, if you increase the lever arm by gripping the wrench further away, then it becomes in a sense easier to move the bolt. Well, in this case, we do not want to make it any easier to move the pin or fracture for that matter, and thus want to decrease the lever arm, thus making it more stable. But also keep in mind, we want to maintain enough space for swelling. Next is the idea of getting a good reduction. This makes sense in that having strongly opposed fracture ends will make for a larger area for adequate compression across the fracture and that vice versa, having a poor reduction will mean it will be harder to achieve a stable construct. Lastly, the idea of near, near, far, far is an easy way to remember that working length of your pins is an important factor for fixation stability. This refers to the placement of the pins as you can see here. This is done to decrease the cantilever bending and shearing forces at the fracture site. Essentially, you want pins near the fracture for stability, but also want pins far to decrease bending, which you can see here. I will provide a link in the description to an excellent PDF that covers external fixation in great detail, going over various pins, the various generations of X fixes, etc. So feel free to read that if you want to learn more about external fixation. See you all in the next one.